What's going on guys, this is Aaron from Departures Capital and welcome to the video. In this video, we're introducing an exciting new company to the channel and that company is called ASAP Medical. Now ASAP Medical is a biotechnology company fighting antibiotic failure. So it's a very unique company focusing on a really important problem. So I'm excited to introduce them for you guys. Of course, for full disclosure details, this is a sponsored video. So always check the description down below for full disclosure details along with thoroughly reading our disclaimer and always remembering that these videos are not financial advice. So with that being said, guys, I bring you ASAP Medical and they are a brand new listing on the CSE under ticker symbol ASEP. Also, before we get into this video, if you do support the channel and all the videos, the first thing, of course, is to smash that like button. It means the world to me and it helps my videos so, so very much along with hitting that subscribe button and the bell for notifications on future videos. Also, don't forget to drop me a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on the company. So ASAP Medical Holdings is a brand new company, like I said, traded on the CSE under ticker symbol ASEP. They announced their public listing on the CSE to drive the fight against antibiotic failure, and that announcement was on December 16th. So the first thing we're gonna do is head on over to their website, and that is asapmedical.com. We're gonna take a quick look and then go a little bit more in depth in terms of their investor presentation, get an idea of what the company does, and we will be having their CEO on for an interview, so I look forward to that. So ASAP. Fighting antibiotic failure on two fronts. The diagnostic front, novel assay provides earlier, faster diagnosis, and targeted treatment of sepsis. Therapeutic, patented pharmaceutical peptide targets currently untreatable biofilm infections. So the crisis, widespread in Delhi. Let's learn a little bit about the problem here. What are they trying to solve? 49 million cases of sepsis per year, 11 million sepsis deaths a year, 100% incidence of sepsis and COVID deaths, 10 to 1,000 times more resistant to most antibiotics, zero drugs approved for biofilms. Now this is, of course, the therapeutic side. And 65% of all infections are biofilms. So a little bit about the company. Large addressable global market with no efficient clinical solutions. Novel technologies in the early diagnosis of sepsis and treatment of biofilm infections. Extensive intellectual property portfolio of both diagnostics and therapeutics, near-term revenue models with multiple corporate partnership targets, publicly listed for further enhanced shareholder liquidity and experience management team with proven track records in medtech and biopharma. So multi-billion dollar opportunity as sepsis and antibiotic resistant infections continue to be a severe burden on the healthcare system, ASEP offers excellent investment potential with a combined market of 179 billion and robust growth. 41.9 billion global antibiotic market and that is growing at a compound annual growth rate of three percent and there we have it broken down global urinary tract infections and global wound care market account for 29.5 billion worth of the market so now it's time to dive into the investor presentation to get a better idea of what the company does so fighting antibiotic failure on two fronts a rare combination asap brings both a novel diagnostic and therapeutic approach to the urgent multi-billion dollar problem of antibiotic failure. Our purpose is to mitigate the global crisis of antibiotic failure by improving patients' odds of survival and quality of life. So we did just go over the facts. We're gonna skip this slide. Feel free to download the investor presentation and go over it at your own pace. I'm gonna focus on the key points and we're gonna leave the technical details for the CEO in our CEO interview. Groundbreaking diagnostic technology. So rapid diagnostic test delivers results in one hour improving sepsis survival rates and allowing doctors to make better informed treatment decisions. Every hour counts. Patient experiences illness and initial infection are requiring hospital care. Then we go to ER admission. Clinicians suspect sepsis based on symptoms, blood collection, then the ideal prognostication, sepsis ER diagnostic tests, approximate treatment path. And that all happens within one to four hours. So. Every hour counts. Obviously, if someone's going to the hospital, it's urgent. So that's, as we know, with anything health related, time is of the essence. So 22 to 30% of patients die of sepsis. That is the ASAP road, the conventional treatment, patient experience, illness and infection requiring hospital care. Then they go to the ER blood collection. Every hour delaying diagnosis and appropriate treatment results in 7.6% increase probability of death. Existing test results, organ failure, blood culture results, ICU admission data collection, conventional therapies fail, and then organ dysfunction. 
So the diagnostic advantage is a greater sensitivity and earlier recognition of sepsis, reliable diagnosis for determining the most appropriate treatment to improve survival, next generation molecular diagnostic focusing on patient specific immune response. So everyone is different. So, you know, it's not just generic. Potent therapeutic technology, proprietary peptide technology, directly addresses the ineffectiveness of current treatment options by suppressing biofilm growth and reducing inflammation. Attacking the biofilm, MRSA biofilm on human skin, our peptide destroys the biofilm. So bacterial biofilms are very resistant communities that grow on body surfaces. Urgent unmet needs, so zero approved treatments for biofilms, over 2.8 million antibiotic resistant infections in the US annually, 11 million deaths globally from sepsis and the most dangerous SCAP pathogens include untreatable variants. So peptide technology highlights, anti-biofilm activity, antibiotic synergy, safe and effective in animal infection models, anti-inflammatory activity in vivo, immune modulating activity and combined activities. So we have the initial clinical opportunity. CRS is a lifelong condition causing painful inflammation due to bacterial biofilm infection. 242,000 emergency room visits annually. Antibiotics do not work and do not target the biofilm. Only, only treat symptoms, not the cause. $30,000 a year cost of dupilumab. First treatment approved for inadequately controlled CRS with poor adoption due to pricing limitations. All right, so grant funding, molecular diagnostics and their peptide therapeutics. So Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, 2.7 million US. CIHR IRSC 3.3 million Canadian the University of British Columbia the University of British Columbia gave 3.6 million and then there are other notable firms that have also granted this company money so lots of cash intellectual property in terms of their diagnostics one patent family plus one underway three patents awarded and then for the therapeutics three patent families several awarded 12 patents filed share structure just over 56.1 million shares outstanding Warrants and options, 4.5 million at 50 cents. Total fully diluted shares of 60.6 million. So in terms of their timeline, so Q1 in terms of their diagnostics, we can look forward to final clinical validation and finalizing the preclinical development. Then in Q2, finalization of 510K submission and clinical study design and pre-IND meeting. Looking a little bit into the future, file for approval in Q3, development of IND filing. Q5, that would be 2023, strategic partner commercial launch and IND approval. So getting everything started. So in terms of their investment highlights, so large addressable global markets, novel technologies, extensive intellectual property, experience management team, publicly listed and near-term revenue models. So guys, that's it for the introduction to ASAP Medical. Now they're a very interesting company. They've got two niches that they're targeting in this antibiotic ineffectiveness market. So it's a really interesting niche to target, and um, it's clearly a big problem in the U.S. with millions of deaths per year. So I'm excited to continue following the company. Make sure to stay tuned for that CEO interview. We will have more content on the way. So thanks so much for tuning in. Drop some comments down below. Let us know your thoughts, and we'll see you guys in our next video. If you like these videos, kindly hit that subscribe button and the bell for notifications. Drop us a comment down below. We'd love to hear from you. And finally, always remember, Departures Capital is for information education and entertainment purposes only. Don't buy or sell a stock because you heard it on here. Buy or sell a stock because you've done your research, you've done your thorough due diligence, and you're making your own personal investment decisions for yourself. This video is not financial advice. Furthermore, this video may or may not have been sponsored by the companies that we've profiled within this video, and we may or may not own shares of any of the profiled companies in this video. If you want to know the full disclosure details, check the description down below along with thoroughly reading our disclaimer. Thank you so much for watching guys and I look forward to seeing you in our next video.